What's up guys, Express Design here, and I'm back with another tutorial. Now this time we have a YouTube banner. I haven't done a YouTube banner since a long time. I'm not really good at it, I think the format is not my not my cup of tea. Anyways, it's like an Attack on Titan style, but you can use any character or person that you want. This is just a simple and quick YouTube banner. 2560 pixels on 1440 pixels. And the resolution we put on the 300. And then you have these little borders um, that you can find on google or whatever something like this and then you can just um put like a white cover on top of it yeah it's it's not it's not that difficult <laughs> let's just start with the character i have taken levi of attack of titan really hyped for a new season that's coming out in december uh, is it this one yes it is this one everyone who's asking for the renders and the things i use in the banners to put in the description so i will do that so this uh, this uh, render will be in the link in the description. I'm going to change the color of the border so I can see what I'm working with. Then, um, for text, I've just typed um, Levi last name, and I think that was Ackerman. No idea that I'll pronounce that uh, correctly, but no. But you can choose, of course, your own name. Boom, put that there. I'm gonna make that a bit smaller though. Um, the font is, uh, is a cathedral, but it's like two t's and an e it's yeah it's cathedral but you know uh that's the font you can use whatever font you can use maybe a bold font as well if you think that's a nice uh id there you go that would look like this. so you can use whatever font you like but for tutorial purpose i'm using the cathedral font for demo version so these edges from the k are just outside okay there you go this is the basics put that in the middle is levi in the middle levi is in the middle then the next thing you want to do is just copy the text by Ctrl J and put it on top of the Levi. Double click on it, move the fill opacity to zero, put a stroke on that, or a black stroke of course, because this time we're going for a black. I'm going to put the size on a two and you can see um, his face is covered. So what I want to do is just make that a normal layer. So convert the layer to a rasterized layer type. There you go. Take your brush tool, make it a lot smaller and just remove the parts of his face so you can see his face clearly there you go now that is it change levi a bit change his colors a bit so i'm going to filter camera raw filter while i'm on the levi character i just want to pop out the blue colors a bit more and change the cape to more blue uh, greenish uh, look so what you want to do is go to basics put the temperature on a more blue temperature not too much because that is what happens then just make it a bit blue and a bit purple then put your exposure a bit up and also the contrast a bit up on 17 then leave the rest for that go to color mixer and go to the aqua colors and just put it up a bit and the blues is a bit more purple there you go then go to the saturation put the blue a bit up of the blue as well put the green put the green down as well because you don't want any greens though. There you go, then go to, go to calibration, then change the blue primary, and the green primary, and then a bit of the red primary, and then the shadows a bit as well. There you go, now it's already changed the color by a lot in my opinion. I'm going to make sure we can see Levi a bit better. There you go, I need to change his face a bit so it's there. Okay, new layer behind him, they've taken a brush, and the color of his um, jacket, color brush about 500, 400, and then put a couple of dots behind him. There you go, turn the opacity a bit down, and make a new layer as well, um, make a big brush, 1500, yeah, something like that. Take like a bluish, like, um, yeah, bluish color, Put a dab behind everything and then opacity also a bit down then what we want to do is take a white brush on top of everything and have a little dot of white on the top and then what we want to do is make a new layer put a clipping mask on top of levi and how we do that is make a new layer and then hold an alt and go between the two layers with your mouse and then you have a little effect then you want to go back to the blue and have a couple of dots uh, of the blue on him okay what we're gonna do is that we put it on the screen and put your opacity a bit down there you go 
make a new layer again take another brush take a black and what we want to do is just the bottom we want to color that a bit in the sides maybe the sides a bit that is what we want to do then I also want a white white brush and then just a couple of white dots for the text of course put that on top of everything put the opacity a bit down I'm going to move this little white spot a bit there you go go to my process pack link is in the description as always go to the particles option um, and just tick the what which one was it yeah take this one or whatever one you like oh put that on top of him and just remove the insides a bit there you go so it's only on the on the text then you want to go to the lens flare flare options and choose a nice lens flare for on top of the text um, I think this one is pretty nice let's take this one okay and Oh, you can put it on his blade, so the lens flare is com comes out of his blade. I think that's pretty nice. Take the brush and just hit his face for a bit. There you go. And that's a nice lens flare. Also, we're going to put more color in it. So what you want to do is take a blue or whatever color and just have little dots in the back of him. Just put that normal, put the opacity just a bit down, but not too much. I'm gonna make it a bit bigger, turn that bit around. Also, I'm going to take his jacket color as well. Make the brush a bit bigger and then just put a dot there. Okay, what we want to do now, so this is the basics. You want to merge everything that you just did by Ctrl J and then Ctrl E, just select everything. And you want to copy that again, so Ctrl J, go to filter, camera, raw filter. Go to basics, make it a bit more blue again, a bit more purple, put on the contrast, click on this little icon and go to the right, and the right is what you'll be editing. Put the shadows a bit down, put the whites a bit up because it's a white background. Okay, go to curves, put the highlights a bit up, put the darker, a bit darker, okay, go to color mixer, and now you want to change the blue to more blue, okay or to whatever color you want go to calibration make it a bit more blue again okay let's press ok boom you can already see the difference is way better merge those two layers because we're not going to edit that again going to camera raw filter again let me go to presets just put high contrast for four seconds okay put that on pick the opacity a bit less then you want to Duplicate again, double click, remove the G and B, so only we have the R and put the layer a bit to the right. Okay, merge that, Ctrl J again, go to filter blur, Gaussian blur, put it on a tree, take a little brush between 300 and just erase the insides. That's all you want to erase and his little face, there you go. Merge that again, Ctrl J again, go to filter. And then noise, add some noise, about four noise. There you go. Now those are the basics. Make a new layer with a big brush. Take a color of his jacket, so that blue again. And just make sure you put a couple of dots um, everywhere. And put that on a color dodge, so you have that little effect. Okay, make a new layer. Take a black. And then just the right sides, you want to make sure there's a bit more black. There you go. I think this is a nice outcome. You can also go to hue and saturation and change the color of the banner to whatever you want. In my preview, I used white text, but you can use whatever you want. I think this is a nice look. You can change the font. It's simplistic, but it's nice. I think I only made like yeah, a couple layers, 13 layers, and it's fast, simple, but looks nice. Use my process pack as much as you want because I did that in here as well. Use this uh, kind of style how much you want as well. Also, if this video hits, I don't know, say 80 likes, 
I'm going to put this on my store that you can download so you can just edit the text and leave Levi and the effects on there. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this quick, fast tutorial of this YouTube banner. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. You almost, almost hitting a 2000 subscribers would really be a big milestone to hit on the end of the year. And thank you guys. See you in the next one. Peace.